Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales, and we are here with Thimbleweed at his overlook, where he is staring down at one of the pieces of feverfew that has grown just out of his grasp down at the bottom of the cliff, and he has had a really good few days. So for the last few days, Thimbleweed- oh yay, there's another feather! Thimbleweed has actually been able to spend all the time that he has wanted to his heart's content- oh, and another feather! Collecting up as many of the plants that he can possibly find out there in the world. Whoops, we need to move the feather. So we'll, there we go. Collecting up plants and helping out Spot Ridge and Lightheart with their medicine cat duties. But uh, it is going to be the dawn of a new day shortly. He's going to go back to the clan. And unfortunately for him, Spot Ridge does have some new duties in mind. So it'll be less collecting up of awesome bird feathers. Let's go ahead and bring a few over here. I feel like we need to like start just gently scattering them around the overlook here and then I need to find somewhere to put the goldenrod plants and I'm gonna put a fever few maybe over here there we go this is starting to look really nice but it is the dawn of a new day for thimbleweed so he's going to have new duties to help out with in his clan all right let's go ahead and have him curl up and by the way I have remembered that a lot of you guys want me to make a cute little nest with him so we'll be making him a little nest probably out of fever few and a bunch of feathers pretty soon but today thimbleweed Weed's project, his goal, the responsibility that he must take on for the clan, is going to be gathering up some food. So thankfully it's not going to be anything too intense. Proudstar is not sending him out to battle or to do any patrols. But Leapfur has managed to snag her young son and she wants to see him go out there and bring back at least one big pile of food. So three prey items before he's able to go off and start collecting up more plants and collecting up more of his feathers and hopefully even starting- Oh, there's a bunny! Hopefully even starting to get to the point, yes, he caught the bunny, where we can make friends with some of the cats in the clan. Thimbleweed is proving to be a little bit more of a, a courageous, well, courageous is definitely the wrong word, uh, a little bit more of a talented fighter than everybody anticipated, and Courage Fur has been speaking highly of him in the clan lately. So anybody that Courage Fur speaks highly of definitely gets the clan's attention. So we're going to try giving some of the clan cats thimble, like presents from Thimbleweed and see what happens. And yes, we already managed to get the rabbits we needed. Whew, that was really early in. So yay! All right. His big quest for the day is done. And now we can go ahead and let Thumbleweed do whatever he wants to his heart's content. I think that that is going to be exploring around a little bit and finding a place to plant the goldenrod plants. So can I go down there? Darn. Can't really go down that spot. Anything over here. And then also I want to try catching some prey and just seeing if we can improve our relationship with some of the clan cats a little bit. I'm not really interested. Then will we just there's nothing about nothing about wave draw and frog whisper, especially or breezefoot or darky that really seems to attract him whatsoever. And honestly, he looks up to courage for him more than anything and looks up to Spot Ridge the most, since Spot Ridge is the one who's going to become a medicine cat apprentice. Uh who is the medicine cat apprentice, I should say. So I think he'd spend his free time trying to come in and spend time talking to Lightheart. He's already full at health and wanting to bring her something special. So I think he's already got a couple goldenrod plants. We'll drop those off so she can like grow them inside of her little spot here. Maybe we'll make her a garden. <gasps> that totally seems like a thimbleweed thing to do. And I'm going to move the bird feather because I just feel like the feathers fly all over camp and that's his fault. But we might make her a little garden today. Bring in some moss. Try to bring in some special plants. Maybe bring bring some prey items in that we can give as gifts to the other cats to try to improve our relationships with them. And also helping out Spot Ridge by going and getting some feverfew. So making a nest, uh, bringing in some prey to share with the other cats and try to befriend them. Trying to gather up lots of plants. Yay, look at all of our feathers. Trying to gather up lots of plants so that hopefully we'll be able to... And are there any prey items here? Oh, there's a bunny! Ah, oh, we missed it. But yeah, trying to make a nest, try- oh yay, yeah, there's some pieces. Bringing in plants so that we can help out with keeping the clan healthy. All of those things are Thimbleweed's goals. So let's see if we can go get some fresh moss. Yay, another feather! Some fresh moss and feathers. Whoa, no way! Oh, dang it, Shadow Clan's here! So the Shadow Clan punks have shown up again. I think we could check out two of them at once. Oh my goodness. So let's wander up here. I think he'd kind of- Thimbleweed would be kind of surprised and like want to rinse off uh, from battle. So we'll clean up from battle. Maybe drop the bird feathers in shock perhaps? I'm gonna have to think about that. I just love leaving the feathers everywhere. Oh, there's a mouse. We can offer that mouse as a gift to some of the clan cats. 
and basically just see what Thimbleweed can get up to today. I think he might try wandering to some of the other uh, clan territories so that he can bring back lots and lots of moss that he can offer as a gift. Yay, there's another feather. <laughs> if only we had more room. We have a mouse though, so we're just gonna have to settle for that. Oh, and another feather. Yes, we'll be able to come back and get feathers, no problem. But we're gonna bring back our little collection of moss so that we can start trying to make a garden down here in the canyon for Lightheart. So that's gonna be an idea that Thimbleweed has had. And we'll bring the moss down here, pile it up. And we didn't get assigned nursery duty today either, which is pretty good because Riftclaw would have had us have to go look for another shiny thing. And here's the fever few to give to Spot Ridge. Wonderful. And we need to get another fever few. That's just fine. And then I think as we're going past, I think we'll offer, too bad we can't talk to Courage for, how's it going? And then Ash Cloud says hello. And Frog Whisper. Oh, hey, and we'll go ahead and give Frog Whisper a, a mouse just because we're trying to become friends. Again, for some reason, Thimbleweed's just not very into any of the cats, it seems. He just doesn't seem to really care uh, about romance. He just really wants to be a spot, like he really wants to impress Spot Ridge is one big thing. And he really wants to be able to make Lightheart happy by being able to gather up all of the, yes, we got a bird, all of the medicine plants that she's going to possibly need for her work. And there's enough feathers, so tons and tons of feathers that we can go ahead and make a little a little nest out of along with this fever few. So we'll see if we can find any more fever few and we'll make that his nest. And he's almost got enough we can think about getting a reputation point. I wonder if there's anything we would use reputation points on, huh? I'm gonna have to think about that. All right, any more fever few? There's another feather, but I'm full on feathers. Uh, that's a stray fever few, let's see. Yeah, that's just a stray fever few that I already put down there. So we'll leave that one there. And come on up. Yes! All right, a new fever few spawned in, so we'll grab this one. Or I should say, cough, cough, grew in. <laughs> and let's go ahead and make a little nest. And I can even drop off, uh, or should I give, like, Frog Whisper another piece? There we go. Yeah, we gave Frog Whisper some more stuff, because we're trying to be nice and just make friends. And let's start making a little nest with Tumbleweed, or Thimbleweed. I always call him Tumbleweed now and then, because it's just such a cute name, too. So there he goes. He can go ahead and rest there. And... Oh, I forgot! I was supposed to bring Fever Few. <laughs> I, I knew, I was, I was thinking, I was like, wait a second, I feel like I forgot something really important. And I sure did. So let me go ahead and drop this here. And then drop this one, drop this one. Come on over and we'll give Spot Ridge the fever few. There we go. All right, and now it's back to comfrey plants. So we can definitely handle that too. But I think, is it pretty late? He might go to sleep pretty soon and we'll work on the little garden today. How many more quests do we need to do? 17 medicine cat quests left. So we need to work on those ones. Um, hmm. Hmm, develop, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna make the garden. That's what we're gonna try to make a garden for Lightheart today because that's really what Thimbleweed is thinking will be a fun thing to do. All right, so let's go ahead and let Thimbleweed get a little bit of rest. I really love his new little nest. It's so cute. I wish I could add something more into it though. Uh, maybe some rocks? As weird as that sounds, I feel like he needs some rocks that he could lay in, uh, which sounds really odd, but just to make it look a little bit more like what I imagine a wind clan camp would be like, because unfortunately you can't gather brambles when you are a clan cat. So, hmm. All right, let's go ahead, come over to Leap Fur. We're gonna fill up our tummies. And then we actually have a lot of reputation. So, hmm, but you need a lot of reputation in order to become a medicine cat assistant. So I think I'm gonna leave that be. And then Spot Ridge, double checking, Comfrey Plants, and let's go get some more moss. And we'll work on building Lightheart, Lightheart's garden. I think that's what Thimbleweed is thinking. He wants to get a few of each of the plants that grow out in the world, so like Horsetail. He wants to get some comfrey, some goldenrod, and he wants to be able to bring it over. There's a dog! Why is there always a dog running loose here? Run, Thimbleweed, I don't want to lose you to a dog. But he wants to get one of each of the plants. Oh my gosh, Clifford, don't do it! Don't do it, Clifford! Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of veterans! Clifford, no! Clifford, Clifford! Can I heal my friend? Can I? Oh, did they take out Clifford? They took out Clifford! What am I gonna do? He's fighting two veterans! No! <gasps> did we just kill somebody? Oh my gosh! We just killed somebody! I did not mean to! I did not mean to! 
Oh my gosh, we just killed somebody. I'm so sorry, Thimbleweed. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to survive the battle, and we did. I think Thimbleweed would be horrified, and he would run back. He would just dash past everything and run back to Lightheart and, and curl up and try to get himself clean and the blood off of his paws. This is so sad. I didn't mean to kill the cat. I was just trying to defend ourselves, and they hurt, like, they hurt our clan mate. I think that probably gave us a lot of, like... A lot of experience but that's just so sad okay so I think we would spend the, the a little bit of the day probably quite a while actually curled up in Lightheart's den not really wanting to go out and face the world but finally being called out by Proudstar um, in fact we'll come over to Proudstar and we'll say Proudstar will discuss how he understands the the price of battle can be very heavy on a warrior's heart but he's very proud that we still defended our clan and we were trying to take good care of defending uh, a clan mate who was being attacked by Shadow Clan. and let's look in the bonus shop and see what we have here oh we could become a mentor <gasps> I totally forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I didn't think about that. I may have to add that into my random generator of things that can possibly happen to us. Um, wow. So we may have to think about that. I think that, I think that Proudstar will be saying right now that if Thimbleweed keeps it up and becomes a stronger warrior, he may have to consider giving him an apprentice. And Thimbleweed, I think, would be totally stunned because in his head, he's still just a young cat who's always getting into trouble. And here he is just being told by his leader that he may he may actually end up with an apprentice. How is he supposed to take that? What does Trainer Scarney think? Trainer Scarney thinks that we've gained a lot of experience, too. So Trainer Scarney is not going to help on, like, not making it. So we have to worry about, like, having... Uh, having an apprentice gosh I'm gonna add a little bit to the like running speed ability the little dash because I think that's what Thimbleweed would be feeling like right now that he wants to dash away from all these responsibilities and that this is a lot that he's suddenly facing um so wow that was an unexpected twist I didn't expect that to really happen to Thimbleweed today but I'm glad he survived the battle all right, so let's go ahead. We're going to send him down to gather up that comfrey. I think he just really wants to get himself away from Shadow Clan and get away from the battling and try to clear his head. So we're going to send him down to the waterfall to gather up comfrey and gather up a bunch of rocks so we can start using the rocks to decorate the world with too. So all the way down here and then almost and then we're going to wiggle this way and there's a little bit of comfrey growing there. And there we go. I think Thimbleweed's really starting to appreciate this as like a safe place to just kind of curl up and get away from a whole bunch of the other cats for a little while. And he may be a plains cat because he loves the open, open grassy areas that Wind Clan really thrives on. But I think he also can appreciate just these spots where he can just kind of get away from it all. It's very, very quiet. It's secluded. He doesn't have to worry about who he's going to fight or what kind of odd battles may happen. Also, yay! a dead mouse uh, which normally wouldn't be a good thing to find unless you are a hungry hungry cat all right let's see any comfrey no comfrey just yet all right come on thimbleweed let's look for some more comfrey and nothing over here we do have a few stones i can take back though and is there any there's a mouse over there but any other prey can i get the mouse from here darn can't get the mouse from here all right, and we're going to look for some comfrey. It looks like the only bit of comfrey is going to be that bit that's growing down on the other side of the waterfall. So we may have to be a little bit risky and go snag it. So let me see. Yeah, it looks like that's the only bit that's growing right now. So we'll go across here, have to go over the bridge. And now we have to very quickly, whoa, <laughs> very quickly and tentatively step into River Clan territory and spend a moment trying to clear our heads next to the waterfall. So, hmm. Oh my gosh, and there's all this open space. I think he'd be really excited to explore over here in case he could find some new plants. There's a horse! It's the first time he's seen a horse in this area. Okay, and let's see if we can get a mouse, maybe? All right, so we'll be able to bring some mice home. We'll impress our mom that way. I really think Thimbleweed's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready to become like a mentor. That's just such a huge responsibility. It, it's not something he's really interested in. We'll go ahead and leave that bird and come back for it later. 
Uh, oh, and that's where you can have Ember show up. I totally forgot that you can actually force a kitty pet. I keep thinking you have to wait until Ember shows up and that's not actually what happens. So I forget that that's there. But that may definitely be a path we will take with a future cat after Thimbleweed's story is over. Also, we're not we're not fighting with either of those clans. Uh, so we can get out of here. Woo, let's run for it. Everybody is really, everybody is really hostile to each other. Uh, though that was Wind Clan. I should have joined in the Wind Clan fight. I didn't realize it was Wind Clan until it was too late. All right, so up we go. We're going to take the Comfrey plant. Unfortunately, we only have one, so we can't start up the big garden that we wanted to. Uh, and there's a fever few, so I guess I could leave the smooth stones here. I kind of really want to add them to his nest today for some reason. So let's keep climbing. Up we go, around the corner, down here. All right, and then I'm going to add these rocks. Yeah, see, they just add a little bit of a different texture. So it looks like something you would expect to find for a nest in Wind Clan. And maybe a couple more feathers, a few more pieces of the fewer few plants that he would gather to maybe make it smell nice. And let's give this comfrey to Spot Ridge. Wonderful. And then me and Lightheart sure do have a lot of new patients lately. We'll need more comfrey plants to treat all of them. Can you go get some? They grow well uh, near the gorge south of here, but be careful. River Clan has many cats in that area. All right, so we'll have to be cautious there, but we're fully healed. Um, still kind of reeling at the idea that we could possibly be a mentor. I don't think he's entirely intrigued by that. And let's go ahead and get some sleep as close to my nest as possible. There we go. All right, and it is a new day, so I wonder. Yeah, I rolled again just to see what would happen, but actually he has permission by rolling since it's a new day and he hasn't completed his old quest. He does have permission to go ahead and do resource collecting because that's what I just rolled. So we're gonna work on the garden again and trying to get Lightheart's garden done. Um, Let's see, and we're still working on the shiny thing that we're supposed to be finding for Rift Claw. And otherwise, I think Leapfur would deny us breakfast until we bring in at least one piece of prey. Please, piece of prey. Yes! <laughs> and Thimbleweed can go ahead and have breakfast because his, I think his mother would be really strict. Her son is going to make sure that he goes out and collects up uh, some fresh prey before he eats every day. So I think he's very grateful that he was able to find a bunny that quick. Let's come on down. Add a feather right over here. A little nope, too far away. There we go making a little nest that he can have. And then we'll go ahead and start gathering up more moss and searching out some more plants. I'll scooch the fever few over here for his little overlook. So we'll gather up some moss, maybe leave it around here to make a little, little bush looking thing. All right, come here you. Come on, there we go. There we are. And then maybe right here and maybe right here. There we go. And then we will go ahead and we're looking today since we need, let's say moss, we need comfrey. We need enough comfrey that we can use it to put in Lightheart's little tiny garden that we're starting in the canyon. And we also need comfrey uh, to give to Spot Ridge. Let's keep Thimbleweed alive <laughs> and hopefully out of battle this time. So comfrey, 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 no comfrey so far. And then maybe more pebbles. And then we also need to get our paws on, if we're able to, uh, some horse tail. Yes, comfrey! All right, one comfrey down. Maybe some of these rocks too. I might collect up the rocks and then we'll see what we do with them. Right now I'm just making paths across the river, but I do want to use the rocks to decorate various parts of the world. Um, nothing over here. Are we going to run into any comfrey down over here? Nope. All right, what if we just really quickly, nope. No such luck. I was hoping, I was really hopeful that maybe we'd just be really, really lucky and like bump into a bunch of comfrey, but not happening. All right, so I don't know if Lightheart's gonna be that impressed if we're just, if we're just sort of spinning around. Oh, and then, you know what? I'm gonna use the smooth stones. Even though I wanted to keep them for decoration, having the bridges will be really useful too. So only one piece of comfrey again, and I think that Thimbleweed would be kind of frustrated with that because he really wants to impress Lightheart. So it's going to push him to poke a little bit deeper. Hmm. And now that he's figured out how to make little bridges out of these smooth stones, I think he'd consider doing it over here too, even though he's starting to get a little bit wet from, from his adventures. Uh, I think that 
he would definitely try to find some goldenrod or some horsetail, just something more. That And there's Stream Lily! Oh, that's so fun! She was a different color this time. But I think he would definitely look for some of the other herbs that could grow in the area. There we go. It feels a little cheaty to do that sometimes, so I'll try not to abuse just going between back and forth, back and forth, but sometimes it's kind of fun. There we go, nothing up there, aha, uh -huh. woo, and he's gonna grab that and run. That is one fast cat that was coming for us. All right, oh, and there's Panda Spirit. Panda Spirit, how are you? It's been so long. Uh, I don't really wanna change our, our coat color, actually, because I think I'm pretty happy with what we've got. We're adorable. And we're gonna wiggle up here. So we've got the goldenrod plant. I guess I guess the very least we can do is bring some more moss to her too. So Thimbleweed wasn't able to impress as a medicine cat assistant and he wasn't able to impress as a, um, just as a general friend of Lightheart as much as he wanted today. But at least we've managed, ooh, let's see. Uh, there's some goldenrod, I gotta take the goldenrod. Uh, okay, at least he managed to get a little bit of goldenrod and he managed to gain quite a bit of reputation with his clan today. So I think what we'll start doing is at the end of the day, if he has enough reputation points um, and he to get a, a bonus coin, then he will. And when, like, like so, and then when he has, I would say uh, six to eight maybe bonus coins, then Proudstar would insist that he became a, a mentor even if he didn't feel he was ready. So we'll have to see what will happen with Thimbleweed. He may start like overeating just to try to escape the responsibility of becoming a mentor, which I think his mom would have a lot of very strong things to say about. But we have started getting Lightheart's Garden uh, built and we are definitely helping out Spot Ridge and I think probably Probably, oh, now we need to have a goldenrod plant. Perfect. Probably more goldenrod plants. Gosh darn, we'll have to like pull the ones we just brought <laughs> up to Spot Ridge. And let's see, now we need Feverfew. But it looks like we're gonna be uh, impressing Spot Ridge pretty soon too, so that makes me happy. We might even be able to probably be friends with him. So, hmm, hmm, I'll keep an eye on that. Definitely gonna keep an eye on that. But it's almost time to go ahead and curl up at his overlook, rest for a little while, and let Thimbleweed sort of relax. And who knows what kind of difficult project Proudstar will have for us tomorrow. So don't die on me, Thimbleweed. Stay away from the roads and don't get into too many fights. But who knows, tomorrow we might roll that we have to participate in a whole bunch of battles. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.